his two drives, we got points each time. And that, that was huge for us. And I've said it before, and I'll say it again, I can't say enough good things about Will Howard. Um, the guy has put in an unbelievable amount of work from day one here, he was put into a tough position, and he's handled it incredibly well uh, throughout it all. And in this off season, he's improved so much, um, and he he has an incredibly bright future here. And whoever's back there behind center, I know I know we're in good hands because uh, Will and Jaron both. That's a credit to Skyler because he he really sets that standard for that room and uh, he's a great mentor for him. He's very involved in the game on Saturday and throughout last week and uh, you know those guys are going to keep keep pushing and, and keep improving every day. Those, both Will and Jaron are consistently probably the two last people on the field after practice every day working on their games so can't say enough good things about either of them. Can you uh Tell me again how you came up with the term revenge tour, and are you surprised it spread through the team and become as popular as it is? Yeah, well, I was a, a little bit surprised how much it had uh, spread through the team, and it, it gets me excited because that's that's kind of the uh, the whole point of it. Um, whenever I first came up with it, I don't remember what I was doing, but it, I was uh, it was my sophomore season at Butler, and my freshman season at Butler, I think we had had maybe the worst regular season that uh, Butler County had had in like 20 years or something. So our sophomore season was the revenge tour, right? And it's just not even the teams that, that got beat there, that, that beat you, even the teams that you beat, you're on a, you're on a revenge tour, you're, you're coming. And uh, that was just, it was a perfect fit for what we're, what we're doing this season with, with how last year went with where K-State football is going. And um, it's just a mindset that anyone we go, anyone we play, we're coming after them. And uh, and it's it's a tour. I, I joked after the game on Saturday that there's no rearview mirror on our tour bus. As soon as the game's over, it's on to the next one. We don't we don't look in the past. We're moving forward every day. And and a, another cool thing about uh, the revenge tour this year is there's uh, there's fans to play in front of, and yeah. and that's been awesome so far. And credit. Credit to our fans um, in that Dallas game. It was like a home game. These last two home games have been just incredible atmospheres, and I know they're going to show up this weekend. And, and it's really awesome to get to play in front of people who care about our team that much. Speaking of, of fans, it's going to be a little different challenge from last year with uh, with the full house on the road. Mm -hmm. how, how important is the communication part to you? Oh, it's incredibly important. It's. Um, it's important even at home. It's communication is everything, and on the road we just got to be a little bit louder. Probably say things two or three times more than we usually would, but um, it's it's incredibly important, and it's something that the great thing about it is we have practice reps to uh, to do it, and then we just got to carry over on Saturday, and I have all the confidence in the world that we will. The fact that you guys, as an offensive line, have had a year together, this would have probably been a bigger challenge. I would think last year with everybody. Yeah, yeah, you know, no doubt. How, how helpful is that that you guys have had a, a season? <laughs> it's, least. it's been awesome. Um, not only last season, but getting a full spring ball this year, and then a uh, a full fall camp is, I think it's shown up on Saturday so far this season, and it's just been a, a night and day difference in our line room, um, not only in our performance but just in our our relationship as a group, how tight knit we are becoming. Um, and just the attitude that we have to just continue to get better every day and never be complacent. And um, I think, you know, moving forward, it's only going to continue to grow and continue to get better. You guys are really pounding the ball on the ground, especially starting with the second half of, of the SIU game. Mm -hmm. How important has that been to be able to do that, maybe also take a little bit of pressure off the, off the young quarterback? Yeah, no, it's been... It's been incredibly, incredibly important, and uh, it's been fun. And um, on the offensive line, you know, our job, we're not going to be able to block, block everyone um, on the defense, but we'll take care of, of who we're assigned to. The wide receivers have been doing an excellent job of blocking on the perimeter. Tight ends and fullbacks have been doing their job as well, doing a great job of that. And you've seen it with our running backs, not only Deuce, who, I mean, that guy's, that guy's crazy good, but Joe Irvin, guys, 
unbelievably talented. Um, all of our quarterbacks can run, and we got even more horses in the stable at running back that haven't necessarily gotten the carries yet this year. But I know um, when they have the opportunity to, they'll they'll perform as well. So it's just in the run game, it's about everybody doing your job, um, winning it, winning your one on one, one play at a time, and um, that's what we're going to continue to do moving forward. And um, that's just that's K State football. We want to be able to run the ball. And How fun is that as an offensive lineman when you uh, when you just basically say and try to stop us? Yeah, it's it's fun and it's just a uh, it's a source of pride, um, and it's just something that no matter how tired you might be on a ten play drive where you've ran the ball, you know, eight plays, the thing that you got to be thinking is the defensive line. Those linebackers are probably even more tired and. Uh, you just got to keep keep wearing them down, you know. In the in the first quarter, second quarter, some runs that are going for five, six yards. If you keep pushing, by the third or fourth quarter, those runs will be going for 10, 15. and uh, that's kind of our our mantra as a team. And what we've really seen so far is if we can get games to the fourth quarter, we're gonna we're gonna wear people out. We're gonna win it in the fourth quarter. How would you assess uh, Josh Remus's play to this stage in the season? Oh, he's been playing exceptionally well. And uh, it just goes back to how much work he's put in this off season. Really um, changing his body, just kids unbelievably strong, ridiculously strong and very athletic, which is, I think, maybe the most impressive part about him for, for how big he is. Um, and he's, he's always been a great football player. Um, and this season, you're really seeing him take it one play at a time, not taking any plays off and just, just dominating dudes. And it's something that he's capable of. And uh, I know he's going to continue to do that. Um, and it makes my life a heck of a lot easier getting to play next to him. And for that matter, you know, everyone on the O-line so far is, has really improved from last season. And it's just a credit to the amount of work we put in this off season. Coach Klein indicated that Cooper Beebe is playing at an All-American type level. How yeah. do you see that? Yeah, Cooper Beebe is uh, he's he's balling right now. He's he's a uh, another guy with with all the natural talent in the world, but he um, he has all those intangibles that you want. <laughs> Plays inc incredibly hard, works incredibly hard. He's smart and uh, really 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 big piece for us and a and a blessing for our team. Coach Klein said that you and him had a conversation about how happily Panzer looked in his first snaps. Uh, what was the conversation like? What did you see out of him? Uh, just just a just a football player, just a gamer right there. Um, since Hadley stepped stepped foot um, into our program, he's been one of the hardest workers on the team. Incredibly strong kid. Just a cool guy to have around the team. And, and I knew um, if he gets in the game, you know, he might have some freshmen growing pains, but he's going to, he gets his hands on someone, he's going to push him around. And that's what we saw on Saturday. And, and uh, it's a credit to Coach Riley for, for trusting him, putting him in there and, and developing him as much as he has with the limited amount of time that Hadley's been in. And it's a, uh, it's a credit to Ben Adler for also kind of being that, that uh, upperclassman plays the same position and, and showing him the ropes and showing him more of the, the advanced uh, stuff and just, you know, having Hadley in there, having a guy being able to come in and spill, been for a couple plays and not really miss a beat is, is huge for our team. And they, he's got a huge, he's got a bright future at our program. You What's mentioned that?